Fat bitches and sluts, it's time for spawn issue number 32, let's go. Spawn is in New York City, climbing Heaven's Angelic Tower. Spawn's wall climbing using his fingernails, which is badass, and uh, they just explain what a hell spawn is, essentially. Up inside of the tower, Raphael gets prepared for a meeting with a special guest. This old lady arrives through the door. She tells her that there are other meetings and we don't have much time. So they make that understood. Then she says, okay, come here, my child. Let me get a look at you. Obviously, Raphael says, of course. The little old lady says to call her by your mother's name, or Raphael's mother's name, which was Mary. So she does exactly that. Then they talk about how their predecessor didn't work out, which was Gabrielle, because, you know, she got in a war with the Hell Spawn. Spawn then bursts through the windows of the tower and demands to know where Bobby went, because remember last issue he was teleported away by the Redeemer. Spawn grabs a hold of Grandma because a ton of tactical angels just came down ready to blow him to smithereens, and he uses her as a hostage. <laughs> so he says, I will kill Grandma if you don't tell me where he is. But weirdly enough, when he grabs Grandma, his costume goes completely limp. So that's kind of why he does it, because his costume's weakened at the moment, and he can't really use it. Spawn thinks about how he even knew where to look for Bobby, and that's because Cogliostro gave him a little card saying where to go. Meanwhile, Chief Banks is freaking out to Jason Wynn because they know his situation with Billy Kincaid, and how he's teamed up with him, a child killer. He says this is heavy stuff and it could actually shut them down. Jason Wynn is still calm and collected, saying that they won't. Spawn continues threatening to blow the old lady's head off, and he even does a countdown. But before he can get to the end of the countdown, Raphael says, alright, you win. She orders the angels within the satellite to let go of Bobby, but they say negative because Bobby's being fucking experimented on like he's, uh, you know, entered Area 51 up in this bitch. Then she says that wasn't a request, that was a command, so... They decide to send him down, along with the Redeemer. Spawn knows how dangerous a Redeemer is, because Redeemers are actually almost godlike beings who can completely manipulate holy fire and light. So yeah, they're pretty damn powerful. But Spawn's costume reacts instinctively and starts fighting the Redeemer on its own. His cape even cuts off one of the Redeemer's hands. Spawn goes to grab the old lady, telling her that he's sorry, but it was all just a bluff and his powers dampen again so he's not able to use them and the redeemer hits him with a giant beam of light as spawn realizes that he's getting surrounded and his powers are weakening he decides to grab bobby and teleport away from the angelic tower blowing it up in the process bobby is worried about spawn because he's unconscious and cogliostro tells him not to worry he just survived a battle with god yes that old lady was god God can take any form he wants, so if he wants to be a fucking dog, he can. If he wants to be an old lady, he can, obviously. So this isn't his true, true form, but you guys get the point. Anyway, God tells the angels that she allowed Spawn to do what he did because she knew he was fighting for a friend. She also knows that he's not truly evil. You know, Spawn's kind of neutral. So yeah, that's why God allowed him to do what he did. That wraps up Spawn issue number 32. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video. Who the fuck shit in your cornflakes? Come on, give it a like. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.